comes up from ethnic deprivation, ethnic attacks, because the work we did with has demonstrated that this ethnic attack has increased. And rather than sitting and waiting and sort of saying this was the end of it, in a very recent study led by Angela Simpson and Claire Murray, we have shown very clearly that amongst children, the risk of acute ethnic deprivation leading to hospital presentation is dramatically reduced by the use of light impermeable encasing. Actually, the size of the effect, the harping of a risk, is as big as the size of the effect of important biologics that we have in asthma. The only difference is this intervention is about 100 fold cheaper. And quite frankly, I would rather have my bed covered than having injections every few weeks. At the same time, our primary prevention studies were coming up with all the wrong results. We had this first idea that asthma is inflammation. We turn it off, and by turning it off, asthma is going to disappear. But in this similar study of the use of inhaled corticosteroids very early in the disease process, it was absolutely clear that inhaled corticosteroids were just a symptomatic drug. As long as children were receiving them, there was an effect. The moment it was stopped, all the effect disappeared, and this really aggressive early treatment had absolutely no effect on the development of asthma. Not only that, there was a signal there that children who received this treatment very early in the first year of life actually had worse outcomes. And it really changed my practice and it changed a lot of guidelines. And it was quite an important but negative study. What about, what about giving good bugs? We then, we were very, very, very lucky to have Claudia Gore uh, joining our team. Absolute joy, actually, that she is now clinical lead here. And what a clinical lead 